Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing another get ready with me and we're gonna be using all drugstore products, which are mostly all new stuff. You guys might have seen at my drugstore makeup haul. Usually January is a big time for drugstore makeup. They release all their new stuff and it's very exciting. I always hit up like so many different Walgreens and CVS's to find these items. So I thought we could test them out here on camera. And also you guys may know, but I am the Moda Brush, Moda Maven of the month of January. So um, I am sponsored by them this month and I will be using their brushes in today's video, which is perfect because Moda Brushes, I would consider them drugstore prices. You could get them at Walmart in the drugstore section for makeup. So I feel like they have really good prices and they fit really well with this video. So I'll be using all of their brushes today. If you guys haven't entered my giveaway on Instagram, I am giving away one of the Posh Pastel 7 Piece Delicate Eye Kit, which is my choice brush kit of the month. It is adorable with these fun pastels and the floral brushes. I'm obsessed. So that is the little intro for today. Let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to, of course, prime the eyes. I'm using this one. I'm not sure if it's new, but I just got it recently from Profusion. They have really good prices. I know they're makeup items aren't like super easy accessible, but I know you can get them online. Uh, but this is their No Budge Eyeshadow Primer. So we will be priming the eyes with this today. You guys know I always like to do my eyeshadow first. Whoa, this one's kind of a thick primer. I got a little bit too much. It almost looks like a concealer, but yeah, it's pretty thick. So I'm gonna smooth this out. It seems to be melting with um, the heat of my hand. So I will go ahead and just spread this onto the eyelid so we could prep our eyes for our eyeshadow to last. I'm really excited to use this newer palette from Rimmel. I just saw one at uh, Walgreens the other day, so I think they're pretty new. Um, but this is the Magnifies Reloaded Edition Eye Palette. So first I'm taking this big crease brush from Moda. I'll have all these brush kits linked below. This one is part of a kit. I think it's like their precision kit. This one's super fluffy, which I love for the crease. So we're gonna go in with this first. It's pretty light, so I don't know how it'll show up we'll probably add another color later but i want to see how this color performs so this is just going in the crease and yeah it looks like it's pretty light so we'll probably have to deepen that up but at least we can kind of get a slight base going on here yeah that was very light so i'm going to build that up with this uh burnt orange shade at the end and put that in the crease instead there's not really a deep color in this palette to like go in the outer corner but that's fine this one's a little bit more pigmented. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this shade. It's a shimmery one, but I'm going to try and use it in the outer corner. We'll see. I'm taking it on this uh, shader brush from Moda here. It's part of the pa Posh Pastel collection. So I'm just going to kind of work this into the outer corner. I really wish this palette had at least like one deeper shade to go here because this is usually how I do my looks but I think the shade does work it's not like too too shimmery so I'm just gonna blend that in we'll just have super glowy eyes today then I'm taking the shadow brush from the posh pastels and just putting some um, setting spray on there and we're gonna go in with a shimmer so I'm gonna go in with that one on this wet brush so yeah, this look is nothing crazy, just a simple look that you guys could do for every day, which I'm all about that. This is a really pretty color. I feel like these shadows look really nice, their shimmers do, um, when you wet them. And Rimmel's fairly inexpensive, so you could get really great deals on their stuff. I kind of want to add in some of this purple <laughs> to make it a little bit more, you know color appropriate so I'm gonna take that one on a crease brush from the electric eyes uh, collection and kind of work this in just to add a little bit more purpleness and this is just kind of blending everything together using the detail brush from Moda this one is from the electric eyes collection as well I'm gonna go back in with the bronze shade that we used for the outer corner and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. And any messiness we will clean up later with concealer, so no worries there. 
so that um so far is the rimmel magnifies reloaded this is probably one of my favorite rimmel palettes i've tried some of the other ones i feel like i have kind of harder color stories for me to work with personally but i do feel like this one works i just wish it had like a really dark outer corner shade but i feel like this one does the job for such a cheap price i think that this is definitely worth it and worth trying it does have this fun pop of blue which i have no idea what i would use that for but i do think we got a really pretty look with this palette I'm going to do brows real quick here um, before I do my foundation and stuff. So I'm using this one from Maybelline. It's the Brow Fast Sculpt. This is all I'm going to use, which is kind of scary because I usually do a pencil and then a um, mascara like this. But I don't know. I figured I would try it. It says that um, you get colored, shaped, and tamed brows with this. So let's just kind of feather this in to the brows and see how it does. It does seem a little bit more liquidy. My benefits, um, not as liquid. I know it has different like fibers in it. And the brush hairs on this one are a little bit longer, but you could kind of switch sides. This one has the longer bristles. This side has some shorter ones. So I'm just going to try and fill my brows in the best that I can. But um, it does kind of have that almost like wet gel-like finish. Maybe that will dry down. But um, it is giving us some color. So this is just something that's easy to just grab and go. As you can see the difference. It'll just add a little bit. Yeah, it's really only going to dispute product where you have hair. But I just have this weird hole. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it with this product. I'm going to have to just blend that and just hope it doesn't look crazy. Moving on to the face here real quick. I am going to be using this primer from CoverGirl. I have not used this yet, but it's their True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. It's mattifying. They have a ton of different ones if you guys want smoothing. I think they have a green primer for redness, a bunch of different primers. And this is just going to go all over. To give our skin a little bit more of a matte effect since I do have more oily skin. And I am using, um, it's called, a, I think it's a glowy foundation today. But it's the first time I'm using it so I have no idea what to expect. But yeah, this really does just give the skin a more matte appearance. For my foundation today, I'm using the new Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, which I'm so excited to try. This is brand new on the market. It's a hydrating foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and collagen, which is really exciting. It says it gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration. It improves the look of skin. It's going to be a medium coverage with radiant finish, and it says it doesn't clog pores. So I'm actually doing an actual foundation review on this today, so I won't really talk about it because this review is probably already going to be up on this. But I figured I would just um, do a two-in-one so I could get that done a little quicker. For concealer today, I'm going in with this new one from ColourPop. It's not like super new, but it's new to me. It's their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I have the shade number Fair 20N. So this will just go underneath the eyes. Really did like their other concealer they came out with, their first one they ever did. So I was wondering how this would be comparable. I'm just gonna blend it out with this brush here, which I kind of like something a little bit more firm to blend my concealer out. So this is just from their like uh, essentials line. I'll link it down below. It's technically an eye brush, but I like this to blend out my concealer. I feel like it has pretty good coverage. Um, it does feel a little dry though under the eyes I can see it already sinking into some fine lines um, but I will put some setting powder over that so I don't really have like a new drugstore powder for under eyes but um, the one I usually use is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in fair so I will just use this to um, set or bake my under eyes and I'm just using this pointed brush from the pastel petals face collection and baking that this powder seriously is so good and it lasts like forever. You get so much product in here and it's great for baking. So I'm going to use this. I have two new products from this Revlon Skin, Light, Skin Lights line. <laughs> this is their Prismatic Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed Beam. They have bronzers and highlighters in this collection. They look really nice, especially the highlighters. So I was really excited to grab these. I haven't tried... A new product from Revlon in ages so I was really excited to find these at Walgreens so I usually like to use a big fluffy brush to bronze the face um, this looks this one looks like it has shimmer in it let me swatch it yeah it's pretty light and I think I 
I think I got the darker shade maybe, but it does have a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use this Moda Studio brush. It's a big powder brush, but I'm going to use it for a bronzer. So usually what I'll do is I'll just fill my brush up with the bronzer and then kind of squish it like this so it's going to be a good like straighter line. And then just lightly blend this into the cheeks. I do have some acne on my cheekbones here, so this might look a little crazy. I always hate doing bronzer over acne. It always looks worse, but it's fine. We'll make it work. I feel like I've built this up quite a bit. It's a very natural looking bronzer, which is not bad. I feel like this is great for every day, but it's not going to be something you would like contour with. I will say though, the color looks really nice. It's very natural. It's not too orange. I feel like that little bit of glow just gives it a really nice finish. And a lot of times I have problems with bronzers looking very muddy on the skin. So I like that I could still wear this one even if I am more tan. But I feel like this is going to be beautiful when I don't have a tan. So just building this up, it's really looking very gorgeous. For blush, I'm using this one from Rimmel. This one's in the shade Third Base. I think this one's newer. I saw it on their display with that palette. Um, I'm going to dip into that. It's like a peachy pink, and I'm using the highlighter brush with that. It's, it's a big highlight. It's a big brush, though. I use this for blush, just to get like a really precise application. I will say with these Rimmel blushes, they're a little powdery, and this one's not really placing any color. So I'm a little confused about that. Maybe I need a more denser brush. This is a blush brush from this collection, which I don't remember the name. I'll link it down below. I'm going to really try to pick up some more product here and see if this will place any color. It placed a tiny, tiny bit. Not very much at all, but these are, they're very light. I do prefer something a little bit more pigmented. But if you guys are like not into blush, you just want a sheer kind of just flush I feel like you would like these but yeah I really have to build these up to get color so I don't know if I would necessarily recommend them for everyone just because they're a little bit harder to work with but the color I mean once you build it up it does look nice but it's still after like putting on blush five times it's still very light so I don't know I don't totally love these um let me know if you guys have any good drugstore blush recommendations I know everyone loves Milani let me know any other good ones, but next I'm going to quick put on some mascara, and I was super intrigued by this new one from L'Oreal because it's called Bambi Eye Mascara. You guys know me, the Disney fanatic here. It says Bambi, I need it, so I guess it's going to give you those like big doe eye kind of lashes. It says wide open eyes, it's an instant eye opening volumizing mascara. I usually love L'Oreal mascara so I'm pretty pumped about this. It says 90% agreed, it does not clump. Wow. So just kind of going and coating as many coats as I can. I will agree, it definitely does not clump. Alright, so that's the lashes. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I wouldn't say it's like amazing. I, I might actually like the Maybelline one better. I just feel like it's not like lifting them enough. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird to me, but uh, let me go ahead and put some on the bottom. They do look really long, but I just feel like they're going in like different directions and not like up like I want. Next up, I am beyond excited to use this from the Skin Lights Revlon line. Again, this is their Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. I've heard that this is a dupe for the Anastasia M. Resi highlight, so I had to try this out. So I'll use this highlighter brush today for it and just get all up in there. Alright, here's how it's looking. I'd say it's a really beautiful shade. It looks so, like, a little bit dark gold in here, but then when you put it on, it's pretty light. And it's not too glittery, which is good. I feel like this would work for many different skin tones. Very nice. I really like how that looks. I feel like that's going to be, a, like, a new, like, Holy Grail drugstore highlighter. It's very beautiful. And then, lastly... We have lips, so I, I grabbed this one from Maybelline. I'm pretty sure this is a new collection, and I think this color would go perfect with this look. Um, but they had some new, like, cream lipsticks colors, and this is in Flush Punch. Looks like this. This is going to be so pretty with the eye look we have. So this one's definitely more of, like, a pink. 
but look how shiny they definitely have like this really pretty shiny finish but they kind of feel like they're gonna stay in place it almost feels like a lacquer but it's a lipstick so interesting I feel like we are ready for Valentine's Day now with all this pink going on. We got pink eyes, pink blush, pink lips. <laughs> Here is our finished look for today's video. What do you guys think? Um, I feel like everything performed really nice. Um, I'll leave my reviews down below if I have any. Um, I do have one of the foundation if you guys want to see. But everything so far looks good. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about, I'm not sure if I love this ColourPop concealer. I feel like it's looking a little dry under there. I don't really love the Brow Fast Sculpt. I just don't think it really... It's maybe good for like a quick need to put something on. I'm in a hurry, but I just don't think I would reach for this very much. It just I have this giant hole in my brow and I need to use a pencil to cover it up for sure because it looks really odd right now. Um, I would say the Rimmel palette we kind of went over. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I think it did create a really pretty look today. The mascara is also I kind of went over that. It's okay. Um, the bronzer I love, the blush is kind of eh, the highlight, yes, clearly Revlon is the clear winner here. But overall, I think we have a really nice look, and I'm really excited about all these new products. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any new drugstore stuff, I would love to know. Don't forget, um, you guys can use my code LeahJanae10 on the Moda Brush website if you guys want to save 10% off on any of their brushes. I love them, and I use them all for this look today. They are amazing. That will be linked down below. And I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.